Hi friends, so in this video, we are going to discuss about what is the major difference between compiler and the interpreter. In the previous video, already we have discussed about the major function of the compiler, then what is the source program, then what is the target program, so how the source program will be translated into the target program, then how the target program will be executed along with the input. So all these, all these things we have discussed in the previous video. So here we are going to see what is the major difference between compiler and the interpreter. So I am just going to recollect the major function of the compiler from the previous video. Uh, major function of the compiler means it will take the source program as an input from the user. Then it will translate. It will produce the target program. So this target program will take the input that is a data input will be taken. Then this target program and the data input will be executed. Then the output of the program will be produced. So this is about the compiler. Then the interpreter function will be different, little bit different. What the interpreter will do? So interpreter will take the source program. Also it takes the input that is the data input will be taken. So both will be taken as an input to the interpreter. So interpreter will process all these things. Then it will produce the data output directly. There is no intermediate, for, intermediate form just like target program. This is the major difference between compiler and the interpreter. So one more form also there that is called Java language processor. So here the Java language processor, uh, what is the main function of the Java language processor means it combines compiler operation and the interpreter operation. So here the compiler operation means it will take the source program then it will produce the intermediate form just like a target program. So Java language processor produce the byte code that is the intermediate form. So this byte code will be given as an input to the JVM that is the interpreter. So here the JVM will interpret the byte code and it will execute and it will produce the output. So here the what is the major difference means. So in the interpreter and the compiler it may be executed in a single machine. Uh, according to Java language processor so the bytecode may be generated in one machine but the JVM can execute the same bytecode in another machine also. So this is the major difference between compiler and the interpreter and the Java language processor.